Oh man, I'm so stressed. A lot of Raider Nation is freaking out. Well, I've stumbled onto a major NFL conspiracy, Apache. How about that for stress? What the hell are you talking about? This team is being sabotaged like the Montreal Screwjob, Apache, and I've got a paper trail to prove it. Check this out. Take a look at this. Holy crap, Sheldon. That right there is the Raiders. Now, can we talk about the Raiders? I've been dying to talk about the Raiders with you all day. Derek Carr just keeps coming up over and over again. Every day, Derek Carr videos are being sent to my subscriptions. Derek Carr, Derek Carr. I look on their YouTube, and there's a whole channel for Derek Carr. So I say to myself, I gotta watch this. I gotta look into this guy. So I watch all these videos, I read all these stats, and do you know what I find out, Apache? Do you know what I find out? What? There is a hit job on Derek Carr by the Raiders, Mark Davis, and his NFL golfing buddies. So I decided, oh shit, I gotta dig a little deeper. Derek Carr is the good QB? You gotta be kidding me, I got boxes full of stats proving that he's the best Raider QB ever. So I start scrolling my way down to Reddit, and I search all the Raider and Derek Carr subreddits. Reddit! Reddit! I gotta tell you about the Derek Carr hit job, and I click on the link and you know what I find? What? This has been planned for the very start before Derek Carr was even on the team! Okay, but... But nothing! Bill Belichick wanted to decimate the Raiders, so he started working with Robert Kraft and his harem of Asian masseuses to develop this scheme. Mark Davis got bribed into it because Kraft promised him a lifetime gift card to Wingstop. Then Giselle Bunchen wanted on it too because Derek Carr's fourth cousin, third time removed, didn't compliment Giselle's gluten-free guacamole at the 2016 New Year's party. What the fuck are you talking about? Then, Giselle tried to cast a spell on her with her witchcraft shit, but it didn't work out. But she did curse the Raiders, and that's why Derek Carr broke his leg that year. Okay, now, there are three coaches tied to this. John, Jack, and Josh. What do they have in common? All of them have four letters in their name, which is the same number as Derek Carr's jersey! But, but John is three letters, not four. So then Carr is improving continually, each season with Gruden. But then Mark Davis is like, oh shit, I can't have this, I'm gonna lose my wings. So then he calls that pervert Dan Snyder of the Washington whatevers. Then that sick pervert leaks the emails of John Gruden saying non-PC principal stuff many moons ago, and effectively lays an offensive strike on Twitter to get him canceled. John Gruden resigns after three years of coaching, just like this original one, the number three pops up again! Yeah, but then... Josh McDaniels coaches this season. The Raiders do not win until their fourth game of the season. Then they play on Christmas Eve, two and four again, and Derek Carr throws three interceptions and gets benched. Okay, so? So all these fours and threes popping up are not coincidence and can only mean one thing. What? What's three times four? 12. And guess whose jersey number is 12? Tom. Tom Brady! It all goes back to him. The Raiders are going after Tom Brady to win the Super Bowl to reconcile the tuck roll game for Giselle getting her ultimate revenge on the cars. It's the perfect storybook ESPN ending. Okay, Sheldon, I'm just gonna stop you right there. Not only does all this shit not make any sense, but Derek Carr's been declined and has been for years with his inconsistent play, choking in key moments, and leading the league in interceptions this year. We're done this season, man. We're done. Will you just relax? You know what, Jamarcus, give a guy a secret. This guy's freaking out. Who? Jamarcus! He's the guy who posted on Reddit about the Derek Carr hit job. Jamarcus? Who the hell's Jamarcus? You don't see Jamar- Oh, shit. You've lost your mind. You've lost your damn mind, Sheldon.